We're paper girls, so we stick together. So when your character, Aragon, goes through time, she meets her older self. If that were to happen in real life, what is the first thing you'd ask that older person to find out who she is? I think I would try my best to just observe from afar. But if I were to, I would try to be like disguised and be like, how are you? <laughs> are you happy? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, uh, Tiffany, when you were learning about the 1980s where your character comes from, what do you think was the biggest difference about being a teenager then and being a teenager now? I would say the influences that were available. like. In the past, in about, I'm gonna say the 80s, but like there was heavy Prince influence, especially in the music world. And now we have like Beyonce's and Day and all of that. So I would say the influences. Fina, KJ seems to be the biggest outsider in the quartet as far as I've observed so far. How do you relate most to KJ in her outsider sense and connect to her in allowing her to fit in? Well, I think going through school and, and being in middle school, I definitely have felt like an outcast before. Um, and I think I was able to channel that a bit while uh, in the beginning of the series when the girls haven't known each other yet. And we all feel like a bit of outcasts. Um, and KJ has a very strong moral compass and sense of compassion that allows her to try and relate to people. Um, but having a strong moral compass isn't always the most fun thing when everyone's trying to, you know, do, do what's fun. So, <laughs> so I think that makes her more of an outcast. But um, I think I also have a strong moral compass. Which acting assignment in your past allowed you to learn the most about being on camera and being natural? Or which teacher helped you the most in becoming an actor? Um, well, I started in, on Broadway. And uh, that was definitely a huge learning experience for me. Um, and I, the art of learning how to work with a live audience is very unique and can aid in a whole bunch of different fields. But my first time on camera was when I was six and I got the opportunity to do a movie with uh, Ralph Macchio and, um, and Olympia Dukakis and Ephraim Abraham. And it was just this incredible experience that um, for a six-year-old to have as their first go at being on camera. And so I got to learn from some of the greats, which was very Excellent. cool. How about you other two? Um, this was sort of like my first big thing on camera. And I think I really learned a lot from just you guys and working with other actors like 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 Ali and, <laughs> and Nate Cordry and Adina Porter. And it was, I, I, I feel humbled to be a part of this production. Excellent. Since your show is about time travel, would you want to travel back in time or forward in time and why? I would say forward. I'd say back. I would say back too. Yeah. Maybe that would be hard for me, but <laughs> I think I think I would go back too. Well, why would you go forward in time? I would go forward because I'm curious about who I would become and I would want to know like all the future stuff. Like, you know, like if you went into the past, from here and you knew Bitcoin, you could buy it then. <laughs> I want to go to the future and like see what, how I can, yeah, seize the good stuff now. And then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to buy it now so that I can have more later. Okay, okay. For, for, for those who went back to the past, what era would you like to go back to? 70s. 70s. Uh, the, the music is yeah. great. <laughs> oh, I, mean. I, think, I think for me, I would go to like maybe in between the 50s to the 80s too. Or maybe I'll join Fina in the 70s and we could go to the disco. Well, I lived through the 70s, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you'd like to do that. Um, who is most likely to laugh during a take and what makes her laugh the most? <laughs> we, Riley will giggle at, at a lot. Yeah. Um, we, we didn't have too many problems with laughing, though. No. We, I think it only happened, like, once or twice. Yeah, but it was when we had to over It was the majority of, of times, which was, like, three, two, two, I said, <laughs> um, when I was laughing is when it was the easiest scenes. Yeah. Like, we had this, this one really short little scene where we were all in a bed. Yeah. 
and I had to whisper to KJ, and I was like, hey, KJ! <laughs> and she's giggling in the bed next to me. But I'm like, I'm, hi I'm trying to hide my face in the covers, and I'm like in between all of them, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and she's and the whole bed started shaking. And like, I'm so yeah. <laughs> what advantages do you think being a teenager in the 1980s has that you think our modern times don't have? I would say the freedom, because I know in the 80s, the girls would ride their bikes out in like early hours of the morning to different neighborhoods by themselves. I I don't feel like we can do that, really. Yeah. Like, I haven't been able to ride my bike to different far neighborhoods <laughs> at four in the morning, but I think yeah. and that's I, one. I think also uh, a lot of kids feel like they have to grow up a lot faster now, yeah. um, just with the influence of social media and seeing uh, people dulling themselves up all the time, um, I think a lot of younger kids feel the need to match what they're seeing online, mm -hmm. uh, where in the 80s kids could be kids, yeah. uh, and I don't know if we get that as much now. Yeah, yeah. And just to add to that, I feel like now there's, for our peers, there's just like this certain standard that we feel like we have to meet, yeah. and I think back then, like you were saying, just be kids. What part of the character you portray in Paper Girls is most unrecognizable to your friends and family who know you? Oh, hmm. What do you What do you think? Yeah. Maybe we should answer for each other. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I easy for Riley. Riley. Erin starts out a bit timid, timid. <laughs> and she is the least like. Yeah. Physical. <laughs> and Riley is the like most badass out of all of us in oh, real life. She is like a kung fu master. Right. She's the strongest, black belt. She is no. the strongest person. And look at how she's dressed. She's wearing right? all leather. Yeah, the and, fashion sense. And, and she is not shy. No. She is not shy. So that that's for sure. Thank you. <laughs> for you. Hmm. You guys are incredibly charming. I, I really appreciate you, you. Yeah, taking the you. time. <laughs> and uh, good amazing. luck with your show. Yeah, there you go. Thank, thank you. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. This is Patrick McDowell for HollywoodChicago.com. Copyright 2022.